So one of the things we obviously have seen is that you have your, obviously your healthy shoulder, your early frozen shoulder, and then your late frozen shoulder. Just from your understanding, at what stage do you find that sort of the change can be seen um, either on an X-ray, MRI, or ultrasound? When are you noticing sort of the changes happening and at what stage should you intervene? So uh, that's a really good question. So in, in terms of um, uh, the diagnosis, it, when, when someone's in the early stages of frozen shoulder, that can be quite difficult uh, to diagnose because they have pain that's very typical of uh, what we might call impingement or rotator cuff pain, where there is pain, but there's also some restriction in movement. So when you're examining them, they can sort of get to about there and you can't push them any further. And you think, you know, maybe are they impinging? Is it just rotator cuff associated pain? This is in the very early stages. And quite often what they'll have, have is, uh, they'll either have a trial of uh, therapy or, or steroid injection into the bursa, come back a few weeks later and you realize at that point, that so that's why the injection hasn't quite worked. Yeah. We're in the later stages of frozen shoulder, it's very obvious, you know, they have the classic symptoms of pain, especially pain at night, and, and quite a lot of stiffness. And then at that point, it, it's, it's quite, quite an easy diagnosis. But it's interesting to see in, in terms of this diagram as to what's really happening, because you've got normal synovial uh, fluid that's sort of um, encases the ball and socket joint. And then you get this cytokine secretion that which we, we spoke about earlier with inflammatory um, cells going in there and that starts causing the normal collagen to change from type 1 to type 3 collagen and that type 3 collagen then causes uh, uh, fibrosis yeah. and then you get the type the 3 collagen then you know causing the stiffness uh, as a result and you get the capsular thickening uh, and you can see in that bottom diagram you know get the axillary um, recess volume reduces so for me this is a clinical diagnosis uh, but as I said, in the early stages, it can be quite tricky to see if it's, is someone developing a frozen shoulder or are they, uh, they just got the signs of sort of rotate cuff disease.